2012 was a blockbuster here at the box office in more than one way. Our movie man Eric Childress is here with a movie rewind. Hmm. What a year it was. Fourth straight year that we've uh, hit uh, over $10 billion at the box office, and it's going to be very close, but we're headed towards possible record year. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of the year. We got a Bond movie this year. Yeah, it took up a billion dollars for, a, for a Bond movie. Can you believe that? I mean, it, it did more money overseas than even The Dark Knight Rises did. It was a tremendous year for James Bond. And there were tragic moments, mm -hmm. one of which involved the Dark Knight and the shooting in Aurora. Yeah, we were. Everyone sort of kind of kind of wondered how it might affect the box office if you know people were going to stay away from the movies, and clearly they didn't. They went and saw it, and it was the second highest grossing film of the year, also at over a billion dollars worldwide. The Watch, of course, though, was a poorly timed movie because it was mm -hmm. on the heels of the killing of Trayvon Martin, and it had to do with neighborhood watching. Yeah, it was originally called Neighborhood Watch, and uh, then they they changed the movie to The Watch, and I don't think it really mattered one way or the other because it wasn't a very good movie. And people didn't want to see it. So. Well, let's take a look at the final numbers at the box office or thereabouts. The Avengers, a big winner budget-wise mm -hmm. this year. Yeah, well, I mean, $1.5 billion that movie made. It was a tremendous hit uh, for Disney and Marvel. And uh, even with a $220 million budget, it's still a gigantic success. Also on the top 10 list, Ice Age, The Hunger Games, The Twilight Saga, The Dark Knight Rises, Skyfall, Madagascar 3, Ted, Titanic 3D, and Taken 2. Ted and mm -hmm. Titanic 3D did especially well because those mm -hmm. were very low budget films. Yeah, fifty million dollar budget for Ted. We said that, that we you know we thought that was gonna be a gigantic hit. It was even bigger than I even imagined. On uh, Titanic 3D, they were only really paying for the conversion for the 3D cost, and that was another $18 million. Did over 250 some million just overseas, so that was a gigantic hit for Paramount. Now it's time to look at the box office <laughs> flops, yeah. and definitely everybody talked about this one, John mm -hmm. Carter. Yeah, the, I mean, with Dark Knight Rises cost $250 million, did over a billion dollars. John Carter did, you know, cost $250 million, did about 280 worldwide. It was a tremendous bomb for Disney. And then there's Battleship. Yeah, Battleship, you know, they were very, Universal was very proud that it made a lot of money overseas in the, a month before it was even released in the U.S., and then nobody wanted to see a movie based on a board game here. Well, other box office flops, Cloud Atlas, Dark Shadows, Rock of Ages, That's My Boy, Total Recall, Abraham Lincoln, The Vampire Hunter, <laughs> The Watch, as I mentioned earlier, and Red Tails. Yeah, not, not a very good year for, for a lot of these films. Uh, Warner Brothers, you know, got picked up by The Dark Knight Rises, obviously, but Cloud Atlas was a, a big disappointment. Unfortunately, it's a very good movie. Uh, and then uh, Rock of Ages, uh, the, kind of a, the big kind of summer flop for them. $75 million budget. And Dark Shadows, the, the Johnny Depp, uh, Tim Burton film, uh, also very high budgeted. Eric, overall, what do you think mattered most? for ticket goers. Do you think it was the improvements in the economy or mm -hmm. just great movies that came out this I year? I think it's just great movies. I mean, you look at The Avengers, you look at Dark Knight Rises, you look at, you know, Skyfall. I mean, people are saying one of the James, best James Bond movies ever. It's, it's quality matters. You know, people, you know, seem to think that, you know, Hollywood can put out a product and people will just show up. And that is the case sometimes. But when you get a movie that exceeds even its own sort of epic status and, you know, through the marketing and all that kind of stuff, and people just want to see it and then it becomes an event and more people go see it. And they tell their friends and then they go see it again so people will just want to see great movies that's all we want and it's going to be a terrific year at the oscars thank be. you for all your help this year thank you very much for having me